Well, achievers, from time to time we run into a hiccup with digital planning. Over the last few weeks, an update has occurred on OneNote for the iPhone that is causing an issue with background image scaling. What this is doing is essentially making the planner page rather small and all your ink notations appear rather large and separating your data from the background image. Well, in this video, guys, we're gonna show you a couple of little tricks, a little tips to fixing that as we wait for an update from OneNote. So stay with me. So for all of our Key to Success users and those that are familiar with OneNote, when it comes to digital note taking and planning, we're using an application that syncs across several different devices, Windows, Android, and Apple devices. And with that, that ecosystem has a lot of different mechanics of hardware and software that they're working with. So when Microsoft goes about making updates or improvements to the software of OneNote for your devices, they go ahead and update it for the iOS, for the iPhone, the iPad iOS, Android, Windows, and even the desktop version of Apple. Well, from time to time, these updates can create some issues and bugs between devices. And we found one here that you guys uncovered in the last few weeks. We noticed if you are an iPhone user and you go into your iPad and you open up one of your daily pages, you're gonna go ahead and see that it's creating a scaling issue. The background page here is rather small and all the text becomes large. Well, what happens if I come in and make an annotation on the page it's gonna go ahead and synchronize this all the way through my other devices, even including my desktop and online version. Well, obviously that's not what it's intended to do, and that's creating a lot of issues and concerns for many of you. Well, first and foremost, if you have not updated your application, I encourage you to wait and do so, and subscribe to our channel and our newsletter, and we'll give you guys an update when this bug is fixed. To make sure you don't receive updates automatically, I encourage you to go into settings, Go into your app store and make sure that app updates is turned off. That way, when Microsoft pushes out an update, it doesn't automatically go to your device. And if any bugs like this occur in the future, you can prevent them. Well, what happens if you're already updated and like, Brandon, I got to fix this. I need to use my planner. Well, we're going to show you how to fix this and also how to prevent it so you can continue to use in your iPhone. This is also very important. The same process will work if you ever accidentally make a mistake. This will allow you to restore the page to its previous intentions so you can go about doing your thing. So first and foremost, I want you to go to OneNote.com and I want you to sign into your online account. This way, the updates that you're making are gonna be then sent systematically throughout all your devices. So we're gonna log into My Planner and we're gonna scroll down to January, 13th because that was the day that we showed that we had the problem with so January 13th and you can see that's here well if I go ahead and right click on this page and click show versions it's going to show me all the additional edits that have been made to this page I can simply click on a previous version that looks correct now you can see this here is the original page that is intended for you to see from here I can right click on that page and hit restore and then right click on the grouping page and hit hide versions. And if you're seeing now, my desktop app, as well as my iPad have all been restored to the original page. That is gonna fix your issue. This is gonna work for this error. It's also gonna work for any time you make an error and you wanna go ahead and restore a page. Another little tip I'll tell you, if you go onto your online version and go into view, and go into deleted notes, you can see all your previous deleted notes. So if you ever have to recall a page, you can easily do that. And by restoring those individual pages, they'll then synchronize back into your planner or into your OneNote notebook, where you can be able to recover and make additional updates to them. So now we made this update, we corrected our iPad, as well as our desktop app back to the original version. Well, if I go back to my iOS and I open up that OneNote application, all I'm gonna do is recreate the same issue and find myself in a cyclical pattern of error after error. We've discovered if you simply go into your desktop page or into your iPad, we have found if you go into your OneNote notebook and simply make some type of annotation that is in a text format, and I'm just gonna write the word test here, and, I'll, and place that on the page. When I go into my OneNote application, on my iOS and synchronize. And now when I go back to my iPhone and synchronize my page, you can see 
that it's scaled correctly and I can go ahead and make new annotations if I choose to and those annotations will then synchronize across all my devices. We have found this error occurs when you make an annotation on your iOS device before you make any type of text input on any of your other devices. So if you're gonna be using your iPhone on a daily basis, make sure until an update that fixes this bug that you have some type of text placed on your iPad, Android, Windows, or Apple computer OneNote that will then synchronize across into your iPhone and make it seamlessly work. And then that way you continue to make annotations on your iPhone and they'll sync back across all of your other devices. Guys, I hope this helps you out and gets you out of a jam. If it did, hit the thumbs up button so you can share this with news with the community. If you wanna learn more about our planner, tech in general, and how to prevent these types of issues in the future, go ahead, subscribe to our page. And if you have any questions, hit the comments and someone in our community or myself will respond to you. And Lord willing, guys, we'll see each other in the next video. For now and for later, have a great day. I'm Brandon Bonduffer.